News Channel's Lenny Supal joining us live with that story. And, and Lenny, the governor says this legislature is about to produce what he calls a superior bill. What's going to be different? Good evening, Keith. Well, for one, it gives parents a little more say in the decision making process, and it also lowers the restricted age of the ban. But many families tonight very concerned and confused about how it will be enforced. State lawmakers taking aim at the age kids can interact with social media. The proposed ban for children under 16 didn't clear the governor's desk. Now, legislators relaxing restrictions in a new bill introduced Friday. 14 and 15 year olds would be able to access social media as long as they have their parents' permission. But kids under 13 would be banned. Sometimes things pops up and you have no, no control of it ads you don't want children to see it the shubaki family spending a day in the park to limit screen time i can't watch TikTok. i can't watch instagram i feel it's the parents responsibility to monitor social media if they choose to representative michelle rayner is one of the sponsors of house bill one and answering parent concerns Every bill, every iteration of this bill never held parents responsible. It always held the social media companies responsible for it. Because at the end of the day, you know, no one in the legislature is in the business of wanting to penalize parents. We are wanting to hold social media companies accountable. And Representative Rayner went on to say that she believes this new bill will receive the governor's approval and also survive the constitutional scrutiny that House Bill 1 received. But there is limited time for it to make its way to the governor's desk because the final week of the legislative session is Friday. Reporting live in Tampa, Lenny Sue Paul 8 on your side.